Docker is one of the essential tools that everyone, everyone should know. Uh, and that includes developers, operations, QA. It's really useful for everyone. And that's where we are moving towards. We are moving towards a world where we are, we are using a container based delivery system. The software delivery is being transformed with the whole containers and uh, container orchestration engines uh, coming into play. And Docker is something that you should definitely know about. Now, in this section, you're going to get started with just enough Docker for, and that's going to give you an ability to, you know, understand the most basic concepts related to Docker. So let's have a look at what you're going to learn in this section. In this section, you're going to learn how to set up an environment to run Docker. You'll also learn how to launch your first container. How do you operate it? How do you publish an application and access it using port mapping? Also using a UI based tool to manage container installation. You'll also learn how to launch a microservices application with interconnected services. And finally, how do you dockerize your application and uh, convert it into a Docker image and publish it to the registry that is Docker Hub. All right, sounds exciting. Let's get started with that. And the way you're gonna follow this series is you watch the video and along with that, you try to follow along. You have already set up the environment. You should be able to follow along. Pause the videos whenever needed because these, these are like really crisp, compressed versions of the video. It's, it's, uh, it, it takes really a 10 minute video takes about a couple of hours of work and then we compress it, we record it and we'll do a voiceover. So it is really fast. So if you are not able to follow, it's far too fast. Stop it, pause it, slow it down make sure you understand the concept make sure you actually implement it uh, if there are any projects at the end of it do those projects so that you understand this really well by actually doing it so this is a hands-on section so i'm going to show the demonstrations you're going to follow along and uh, then you're going to learn by actually doing it right and that's how you basically follow this section good luck with learning docker